Oh yes, hello there. Hi. Oh, come on in. This is the full-on 2024, as good as it gets, race room tour. We're gonna go over everything. Now, I'm gonna make a shorter video that just focuses on the rig and the racing stuff. Uh, I'll link to that. This is super short, just so you can get the, the meat and potatoes of just the racing rig, if that's what you want. But this is gonna be more of an overall uh, racing room uh, video because we I totally remodeled everything. If you guys don't remember, uh, we got new carpet, we painted, we put in shelves. It's not, it's not like some kinky sex dungeon. It's for, it's for gaming, okay? I, I promise. <laughs> Put together a brand new next level racing rig. You know, did all the painting and the, it, just a lot of stuff went into it. I was really learning as I was going. But come on in here. We'll get this closed up. Samantha's behind the camera. She's doing a great job. Great job. So yeah, this room, as you can see, was just completely just painted blue, just normal. Uh, they used it. This is the new house that we're in. We've been in here for about two years. Seems like they used it for an old office. Uh, the great thing about this room is that it has its own circuit uh, run into this room, and there's a bunch of outlets all over, although I did cover up a lot of the outlets with this <laughs> sound, the, the sound panels, but I mean, there's so many outlets. I mean, it's just... It's just a perfect room for what I'm using it for. It's nice and cozy in here, uh, so it, it really has worked out quite well. It's a little narrow, but it has everything I need. So we'll start it off here at the back. Uh, this is more like the office stuff. Now, now you guys got to remember, this this kind of stuff, it's all a work in progress. So, you know, I was kind of waiting until I had every little finishing touch done, but it's never going to happen. So I figured I need to get this video out because I'm at a good place with this room right now. And so, but as we go through, I'll let you know kind of what I'm thinking and what I'm planning on doing uh, further to uh, really complete the space and its uh, totality, okay? So as we look over here, this is, um, this is the back wall. This is uh, perfect for uh, the office desk. This is where I do a lot of like video editing stuff. I got uh, Adobe Premiere on this computer and I'll do like a lot of that stuff over here. But this on here is a custom made, custom cut uh, desktop and there's no legs or anything uh, on it. And as you can see, I got a whole bunch of stuff uh, tied up under there, all the cords and stuff, but there's no legs. I just put supports in to hold this desktop up. Uh, so it gives me the full width of this wall to be able to use as a desktop and uh, get this out of here. I was thinking about doing, I, I probably need to get some sort of a, a pad here for the chair. Now, thanks to X-Wolf, he suggested I get these rollerblade wheels for my DX Racer chair. This is an old, old, old DX Racer office chair, drifting series uh, office chair. You know, it's, you get, you get these for looks. You don't get these for the ergonomics or the comfort. Uh, it's not horrible to sit in, but I don't sit in it too long for it to be too uncomfortable. But the rollerblade wheels on this new stiffer Berber carpet does actually work pretty well. But uh, sometimes you can get stuck in a groove or whatever. Anyway, I'm rambling. This could be like a 45 to 4 hour video here. But uh, we're just walking you through, walking you through it. Uh, I got the old computer. This is a uh, i9-9900K with a 2080 Ti in it. That used to be my old computer. It's a pre-built cyber power from years ago does great it does fine for editing and stuff or just whatever my secondary computer i don't do any other gaming or anything on this um so it's fine now this is the 49 inch uh, uh monitor now quirkatized gave me this monitor and i actually used this for a while on the racing rig for like six to eight months or so uh this is just your standard 49 inch ultra wide uh it's a it's a perfect monitor for video editing because it gives you the full timeline and you can really uh see everything that's going on there uh let's see some other stuff here i don't know i got a just a regular old keyboard mechanical keyboard and a steel series ambidextrous mouse i got my famous password book <laughs> don't be peeking in there now it's a password book 
I got an Xbox controller that I've literally never used. I thought I would use it for something, a different game or whatever. I got some dice that remind me of my buddy Mike, who's no longer with us. So I like to keep those Vegas dice there. Uh, just your normal stuff. Now, I've had uh, these Bose speakers for literally like 20 years. These are just your standard office Bose speakers, and they're great. Um, and then this is the camera. Now, don't touch this camera. Don't move it because it's perfectly lined up. This is the top cam camera that you guys see. And then you get a little window into the uh, the garage, if you will, with my Ferraris and stuff. So don't, <laughs> don't, that's, a, that's a secret there. But, uh, yeah, this whole custom desktop thing worked out real well. Uh, I tried to mount. I bought a mount for this monitor up on the wall, but it didn't work out. I got frustrated. I, I need like a flush mount uh, for on the wall here. I want to mount this uh, monitor up on the wall so it gives me more t more more desk room. But I'll, I'll have to find something. And it, and it, at all point during this race room tour, if you guys think of something or a suggestion, put it down in the comments because I'm looking and open to to hear suggestions about how you would do it or if there's a certain product out there that would work perfect that you would see. Uh, let me know. So moving on to this wall, uh, what are we calling this wall? Like an impact wall. This is like a real statement wall. Okay. This is the wall, uh, based on how the SIM rig sits. This is what is usually in the, like the background. So I wanted to make like some sort of big impact here, not just a blank wall. So we went with these sound panels and when I was at Tony Kanan's garage, I saw that he had something very similar along that wall of his in the garage. And so I wanted to get something similar to that. So I found some of these online and I went with this design. It worked out and I covered this whole wall with them with the idea being that I would be putting lights strips uh, top and bottom and to be able to have that glow on the wall like that. Um, Am I happy with how it turned out? Eh, I'm like 80% happy. I thought some of the light would shine up better. Um, the bottom one shines up pretty good. This top one doesn't too well. And then I don't really have this secure down here on anything. You know, it's kind of flimsy, kind of, I don't know. I Something else could have been done a little bit better, but it's kind of what I'm working with. And then if you guys watch the stream, these are able to react. These are the uh, Phillips Hue strips and they're able to react with the stream with subscribers. I use the program called Lumia and uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with that software. And I think I've just barely scratched the surface with it. But and then we were at Ikea because I didn't know what to do up top here. I knew I wanted some sort of a shelf. But then it's such a narrow room, you didn't want like a big shelf protruding too far. So we were at Ikea and we found these picture frame shelves. Now I installed them upside down, obviously, to be able to hold this uh, strip under here. So it actually worked out pretty well. Bought three of them, lined them up pretty good. Uh, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, so it actually worked out pretty well. It's a nice little shelf. I can put stuff on. And it holds the light under here to get that secondary light that I wanted. Um, now, as we're taking a look along this wall, now there's a, there's a lot of things you can do with different spaces. And I know it's a small room, so you don't want to fill it up too much. Or do you? I don't know. So I'm just kind of working with what I got here. Now, the coolest thing that I thought uh, I would get were these track maps. This is World Circuit Track Maps. You know, saw the uh, online advertisement, went on there, checked it out. And sure enough, they sell you the entire iRacing uh, package. And there's different iRacing packages that you can get. But these are like acrylic 3D printed or whatever. Uh, you get the whole package, all the tracks from iRacing basically, plus, well, not all of them, but you, you get the idea. You get a, the popular tracks from iRacing. Put them on here. I got the white. The white on black does look actually pretty good. Um, and what I like about them is that they're all to scale. So you can tell like, wow, the Nürburgring is huge relative to like all these. Like this is Spa. And look how like Spa is a huge track. But compared to the Nürburgring, it's, you know, it's crazy. So it really gives you perspective on how big and small some of these tracks are. And it comes with a lot of oval tracks, like small oval tracks, but they all just are circles. So I didn't, I didn't put them all up, but 
Uh, anyway, I thought that would look pretty good in that space. Uh, they give you like a big strip of uh, sticky, sticky, putty, tacky stuff that, you know, it's it's OK. But uh, that worked out pretty well. Um, so and then just a matter of putting stuff up on the shelf. You know, it's kind of whatever you want. I don't really have much on here. This is my uh, badging from the 2008 Ford Escape front wheel drive V6 Brownie color. And I got the I tore the V6 emblem off and the Ford emblem off the back. <laughs> so I got those little uh, mementos and I uh, got some other stuff, you know, whatever. I can fill out that space um, if I need to. Now for this back wall, I posted on Twitter from uh, Petrol Vibes. They sell those uh, big uh, racing track silhouettes with the LED lights. And I was thinking about getting a big one for that. Um, but I know that they're actually pretty huge, so I'd have to measure it up, but I thought that would be good for a big statement piece. Um, but we'll see. And then up here is a shelf that I put in. So I was able to display some stuff up here. I got some trophies that I won back in 2016 at the I race for life event down in Texas. I got a model that I made live on stream. You guys probably remember that. A Tony Kanan indie car signed by the man himself in a cool helmet. I got old floppy up there, some Mustang stuff, and of course, the 2022 DVD box set. So it's just a nice little area. Be able to uh, display stuff. Got an LED light running. Right in front of me is the, the newest thing, the Daytona 24-hour. Uh, frame that I made with everyone's signature on it. Tony Kanan, Dan Suzuki, my signature, Tyson Meyer, Corkatized, and uh, Victor and uh, Carlos there. And that's when we did the Daytona 24-hour race 2024 at Tony Kanan's garage. So that was an awesome event. And I knew I wanted to make something or have something to remember it by. So I made that. That was, that was very nice. Um, got up on the wall here, the, 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 what are we calling this? The Ace Attack wall, <laughs> but, uh, all my rims are up here. It's kind of a perfect little, uh, wall to be able to display all the rims. And Ace Attack makes, um, just really nice wall, wall mounts, uh, for these. Now, what I like about the wall mounts is that they're big enough to where if you're like missing, like, ah, I can't get it on there. It, you know, you're not scuffing up your wall and everything. So <laughs> the metal on it's nice and big. And then in here is like some storage in the closet here. I got some storage. No need to go in there. It's all messy and stuff. Um, and then up top are two more Philips Hue lights. This one I bought like an extension because I thought if I extended it and I could point it down at the sound panel, whoop, at, down at the sound panels, then it would cast some more light, but didn't really work. But anyway, and then there's another light over there that's a Philips Hue light bulb. And these all work in concert together. I got an iRacing i flag, which mimics all the racing flags in the game. And also my Sparco racing shoes that I've had for a very long time. They're nice and comfy, and it gives you nice heel support. All right, guys, now what you've all been waiting for, the actual sim racing rig. And here it is. After months of uh, putting stuff together, we started off with a next level racing rig and we put a bunch of Ace Attack gear on it. So what we got here is an iRacing Edition next level racing rig. Now we've done, I've done a lot of modifications to it to be able to invert the pedals. Uh, we got full on Invicta, Ace Attack Invicta gear on it. So we got that Ace Attack Invicta wheelbase, 27 Newton meters, we got the S-Series Invicta pedals with the clutch. Now I swapped over to the Forte pedal plates because uh, they're a little bit smoother. And we were able to invert them. Now I, I created a custom floorboard for the rig, jacked up the rear end, and I was able to uh, invert the pedals. Out of all the rigs I've built, this one is the most ergonomic, the most comfortable, the most thought out, the most just finely tuned i i absolutely love this the way i got it figured i had to go get a custom seat a corbo trail cat seat custom kind of way i mounted it um and i just absolutely love it like it just feels so good i did 12 hours at bathurst in it all by myself and like i was totally fine like 
didn't have any issues. So I'm like so happy with the situation I got right now. Now, as a streamer that does sim racing, there are some uh, compromises or some things that I do that benefit the stream that I probably wouldn't do if I was strictly just a sim racer. Things like, you know, maybe I would have the monitor a little bit closer or, you know, I probably wouldn't have tablets in, in my face, you know, all the time or have a big light on my face, you know. <laughs> so I'd probably, you know, there's some immersion that I give up being a sim racer, but it's fine. Um, I got it pretty dialed in. Now, this is the the 57 inch uh, Samsung monitor, the new one. Absolutely loving it. Just the seamlessness of it. It curves. I mean, you guys know I like ultra wides over triples and stuff. So been loving the 57 inch. Uh, and then up here is a 34 inch curved and that's for all like the software OBS and some chat and stuff like that for the stream. Um, and then we got, I'll just go through some stuff. So this is a newer tablet. This is a uh, Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. I was using like a Fire HD 8 and it was giving me issues. So I upgraded to the bigger tablet. Now I run a program called Touch Portal on this and that's hooked up to OBS. It's literally works just like a stream deck. If I were to, if I didn't have any stream deck, I would go with the XL. This works out pretty well for pressing buttons, gimmicks, you know, sound effects, blah, 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 changing scenes, doing whatever you want, playing ads, you get a bunch of extra pages. Uh, so that works out. And then this over here is a, one of the original Derek Spears button box, the Black Max 2. I like it because it's all black. I added some uh, stickers on there, which is great. We have the, the trusty Thrustmaster TH8A shifter with a custom knob. I got this cut. Now, I don't know where I got that knob anymore. I lost the link. I have no idea. It's probably been 10 years, but this is a solid piece of aluminum. And it, it, uh, I swapped out the uh, Thrustmaster knob for that uh, nice, nice solid piece of aluminum, which makes a, any H pattern shifter uh, car much better. Um, and this is just a normal next level racing uh, little platform here that you can put a shifter on. And then I put a little thing for a phone holder, a little piece of padding to put my phone uh, while we're racing and stuff, making sure it's nice and charged and all that. Um, moving on, like I said, I got Ace Attack gear, and this is the Ace Attack front mount uh, that you can get on your rig. And then you get your buttons, power, and then you got a kill button on the left side. All works great. Love it. Um, super solid. And then obviously to get all this stuff, like the tablet stuff, you know, you just kind of got to work with some 80-20 and just see what works. Be able to get that all hooked up. Uh, let's see, uh, Elgato face cam, one in the front, one in the back that we saw earlier. And this is a Logitech C920 on the wall that I can maneuver anywhere I want. I kind of use it just to put a camera on the Ace Attack gear. This is a cheapo uh, ring light that I got on Amazon for like $10. I used to have that, you guys might remember, that big Nevo or newer huge key light, but even at 1%, it was so bright, I couldn't believe it. So I just got a cheapo phone one and it's perfect. You just need a little bit of light uh, so you're not blinding yourself. Um, all right, so Sennheiser. Hey, do you like your headphones? I sure do. They're Sennheiser HD 558s, open ear headphones. And then this is an Antlion wireless mod mic. I love it. Uh, it's perfect for ra uh, racing streams in my opinion, just the way it sounds. And so I don't have a huge microphone in front of my face or whatever. So I kind of like that. And then the old tried and true keyboard uh, table is a little plant uh, stand with a big old book on it. Increases my surface space. And I just got a regular Logitech, uh, Logitech uh, uh, mechanical keyboard there. That works out. It's perfect. Does the job. Now I got over here some more custom 8020. And this is just to hold my headphones. And a little thing for the light works out great. And then the computer that runs everything is a is a pre-built CyberPower PC. It's got the 13th Gen Intel with a 4090, a gigabyte 4090, 32 gigs of RAM. 
just your basic pre-built from a year ago. Um, so that works out really well. I'm able to run everything. Everything I do on the stream and all that stuff is just from a single computer. So just two monitors, racing, OBS, it all is done with a single computer. I've tried dual PC streaming in the past. It's just too much rigmarole. And now with the hardware, it's so, so good now that you can get away with just a single PC. Um, so that's what I do. And uh, maybe in the future, I try dual PC again. I don't know, but it's working out for me now. So, uh, you know, maybe I don't get the best frame rates in, in game because I'm everything else is running. But uh, I'm happy with it for now. So I uh, put an extra LED strip along the bottom of the rig just to give it a little bit of glow. And uh, yeah, I got a fan over here. Probably should move the fan because it blows just right into the back of the monitor. So I still ended up sweating when I'm driving Mazda, you know. The, the rims. This is an MPI rim with a turn button box. Samantha bought that for me. She's the best wife ever. And then obviously I have a uh, Invicta quick release on it. And then the GSI. That's a GSI Max 32 with uh, the quick the Ace Attack quick release. I got the uh, Ace Attack. Forte button box with all the rims and all that stuff. The the Forte uh, F1 style rim as well. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, as you know, you know, a lot of you guys saw a lot of this remodel done live on stream. And uh, it has been a process. And it's it continues to be a process, obviously. There's always little things here and there that everyone likes to change as you uh, see what your needs are and try to find solutions to meet your needs. But... Uh, as of right now, I feel like I'm in a really good place with all this stuff, and I think the room turned out really well. Would I recommend you paint your walls completely black? Uh, well, <laughs> it's really hard to see in here sometimes. There's so many times where I'm walking around with a headlamp on because I'm like, what's going on in here? I, like, I can't see anything. Who painted these walls black? Well, it was me. You know, I'm the only one to blame. So, But I think, I think for what it is, a gaming room, streaming room, I think it works out pretty well. Would I have gone with like a flat finish, a matte finish? Probably not. This stuff scuffs like crazy. You just touch it and it scuffs. But um, yeah, so there's some things I learned. I still got to do some cable management over here. You know, it's like when you buy stuff and they have white cords in a black room. It's like, what are you going to do? But, you know, there's some little tidying up and stuff I got to do. But I'm just happy with how the rig turned out, how the room turned out overall, and just the whole the whole feeling you have when you're in here gaming and stuff. It, it's a lot of fun. So it's my little happy place. So let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below and give it a like, share it around. Uh, don't forget, I am I'm make a shorter one of these uh, for you guys, just about the rig. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.